I'm guessing if you clicked on this video, you want a better life for yourself, whether that means cars or travel or buying nice things, or more importantly, taking care of the people that you love and actually living life the way it's meant to be lived. A life void of poverty, a life of abundance, and a life that you can actually be proud of. But in order to have real, true freedom and success, you have to be able to make money effortlessly. And in a world of make money online offers and everyone telling you to do this or that or start social media marketing and start drop shipping and start doing TikTok, it is more confusing than ever to know what you should actually do if you want to achieve those things. And I'm sure you've seen it yourself. Some entrepreneurs will get into this and they'll flourish while many, many others, and honestly, the majority fails. And it seems like business is this crazy hard thing, but it's not. The truth is the reason why some people fail and some people don't is because they picked the right or wrong vehicle. And I don't mean vehicle as in the car that you drive. I mean the vehicle as in the thing that's going to get you to your destination. What is going to get you from where you're at right now to where you want to be? What's going to take you from poverty or maybe just having just enough or being comfortable to true abundance and freedom? That vehicle is very, very important and you have to choose wisely. So let's take a look at two popular business models that people are telling you right now that you should get into. And that's going to be social media marketing and drop shipping. And right off the bat, to succeed in social media marketing, you need to learn hundreds of different skills. I'm talking copywriting, sales, fulfillment. You have to learn how to get clients. You have to learn how to do outreach. You have to learn how to manage clients. You have to learn how to hire and fire and manage a team. You have to learn how to communicate with clients and hundreds of other skills. And to be quite honest with you guys, it's advertised as a beginner friendly business model, but from someone who built a marketing agency to six figures when they were 19 years old, I can tell you I shut it down because it was not a beginner friendly model. There was too much involved. And at the end of the day, I was only making 60, 70% of all of this hard work that I was doing and the rest was going to my team. Then we have drop shipping, right? Drop shipping is one of the most popular things or e-commerce. And guys, Facebook ads are not what they were in 2015, okay? Product cost has risen. This thing called C19 happened and it messed up a whole bunch of logistical issues over in China. And it is dang near impossible to sell a Chinese product with four week shipping time profitably using Facebook ads. And I know some people are using TikTok and, and other methods, but guys, at the end of the day, you're spending all of this time building a business where if you're lucky, you make 15% profit. And that is not a business that I want to start. If you're doing that, you're literally one problem away, one logistics problem, one global market problem, one shutdown from your business being completely out and you are now back to square zero. And the problem with both of these models and honestly, every other model that people are telling you to get into is they fail to realize one thing. You need something that is simple. It's beginner friendly. It allows you to make a lot of money and it's going to help you long term, not something that is get rich quick, not something that you jump into a trend and you're at the mercy of the market and not something that requires hundreds and hundreds of different skills for you to actually have success at. Now, do some people make money with these? Absolutely. I have friends that make seven, eight, even nine figures a year in e-commerce, but they've spent years. I'm talking like four, five, six years, millions of dollars, tons of time, tons of blood, sweat, and tears to get to the point where they can build a brand like that. Long term, it might be a good idea, but for you to start making money online, which is the whole purpose of this video, and get from zero to one, get from where you're at right now to where you want to be, you need something different. You need something that is beginner friendly and allows you guys to get started as soon as possible. And I think it's my job to tell you guys after all of the experience that I've gone through going from literally nothing to building several businesses and having a lot of success in my early 20s, I've tried everything. I've tried social media marketing. I tried e-com. I tried affiliate marketing. I tried Amazon. I tried everything. But the one thing that stuck and the one thing that took me from nobody in Ohio to living in Miami and making millions of dollars at a young age was a skill called high ticket sales. And it's actually really easy to understand. So let's take people like Eman Godzi, Grant Cardone, Grego Gallagher, Sam Ovens, Ty Lopez, Dan Henry. The list goes on and on and on. You guys might think of them as like gurus and internet marketing people. These people all have something in common. They all sell a high ticket offer. And a high ticket offer is literally something that has a high price tag attached to it that people want to buy. That is as simple as my definition is. We don't need to get more complicated than that. And this can be things like courses, uh, coaching, consulting, agency services, solar, roofing, things like watches, you know, cars, if you want to sell super high end, like not, not car dealership stuff. It can be really anything, but I prioritize and I tell all all of our people to get into coaching and consulting and online offers because they're expensive. There's not really a lot of service delivery for the company, which means they can pump high volume and a lot of spend on marketing, which means you can make a lot of money. And we're going to get into that here in a second. The other thing that all these people have in common is not only are they successful, not only are they multi multimillionaires, but they don't take the calls for their product themselves. Of course not. They have a lot more important things to do. So who takes these calls of everyone that is trying to buy their product? 
Well, that is what we call a high ticket salesperson. This is either a closer or an appointment setter. And if you're coming from the enterprise world, it's literally the difference between an AE and an SDR. Every single time someone wants to buy something expensive. For example, I just picked up this watch and I went to a jeweler and I spoke with a person and he explained it to me. I didn't know a ton about watches. Um, he showed me how to wind it. He showed me everything. If I didn't have that person, I would never have gone online and just clicked checkout with a credit card. I, I would not do that for something that cost $40,000, okay? So every time someone wants to buy something expensive, they need to speak with a salesperson because they have questions, they lack information, maybe they're fearful, or they need help getting over whatever's stopping them from buying something. That's why they book sales calls to begin with. And all of these sales calls and all of these leads and all of these potential customers that come in need to be sold to. And that presents the best opportunity I have ever, ever, ever seen in my entire life for you watching this video to start making serious money with the most valuable skill on earth. This skill took me from zero to $30,000 a month as a 20 year old kid, actual profit in my bank account. And I've seen it literally take thousands of people from zero or from a nine to five or from college to thousands and thousands of dollars every single month in their bank account with a skill that will never ever allow you to be poor again or to struggle again, because there is always gonna be something to sell no matter what happens, no matter what happens with AI, whatever happens with the market, it doesn't matter. Sales has been around since literally the dawn of time. So instead of you building a business from scratch and buying a course on how to start an SMMA or how to start trading Forex or whatever, don't buy these programs from these people. Instead, learn how to sell the programs. And honestly, it comes down to a lot of ego, right? A lot of people want to build a marketing agency because they can say, I'm a CEO. You're a CEO of nothing until you make millions and millions of dollars with that business, okay? So put the ego aside and understand that it is much, much better to have 10% of a watermelon than it is to have 100% of a grape. So enough chit chat, here's exactly how high ticket sales works. There are two kinds of high ticket salespeople. There's what we call an appointment setter, which sets appointments on the calendar. They qualify leads and they respond to DMs or emails or calls, or they just hit up leads that are in sort of a database or a CRM. And then we have closers. They're the ones that are actually responsible for closing deals over the phone or Zoom, and they bring the money into the business. So if a setter presents the sales opportunity on the calendar, the closer closes it and makes that deal happen. Both roles are paid on a commission basis, which means that they make money when they perform and either set or close those deals. Now, this scares a lot of people. A lot of people hear commission only and they immediately get scared because they're used to the comfy nine to five salary, I'm just comfortable enough world. And let me tell you why that is the worst mistake you could ever make in your life. There's this funny analogy that I heard at a mastermind the other day. And the guy told me there's two ways to get rich quick, either sell drugs or get into sales. And we don't wanna go to jail. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly why commission is the best. Commission-based pay will allow you to go from where you're at right now to where you want faster than anything else. In this example, we're going to use two people. We're going to use John and we're going to use Bob. John is paid 10% commission on every deal he closes. He closes at about 20%, meaning for every 10 calls that he takes, two of them turn into closed deals and payment. He sells a $10,000 offer at 10% commission, which means he makes $1,000 for every single deal that he closes. So with this math, if John takes, let's say five calls a day, he closes 20% of them, which is one out of five, he will make $1,000 a day. And if you hear $1,000 a day and you're like, okay, this is way too good to be true, whatever. I'm telling you right now, this is not out of the blue at all for the students that we have and for the people that we help get into sales. I myself, I was doing $30,000 a month. That equates to $1,000 a day. I've seen kids literally make $70,000 a month, $60,000 a month. So don't think small and try not to have this sort of like scarcity mindset when I tell you big numbers because it's entirely possible. Now let's look at Bob. Bob is paid a comfortable salary of $5,000 a month like most good nine to fives. He takes five or more calls a day and he closes 20% of them, meeting his minimum KPI at his job that he needs to hit to not get fired. Bob doesn't care what his close rate is because he gets paid the same amount each month regardless of what he does. Bob's earning potential is capped. There is a ceiling on his income. So even if he has a good week and he pops off and he closes 50% of his calls, he's still only gonna make $5,000. So now do you see the trap? This is the reason that most people are struggling. And if they're working a nine to five or a salary position, they're stuck. Their income doesn't move no matter how good they are. And I don't know about you, but I don't wanna be paid for my time. I wanna be paid for the value I bring. If I'm the absolute best in the company, 
I want to be paid for that. I don't want to be paid $5,000 like Joe and Nancy and Susan who do the same thing that I do, but at a much lower level and they're not as good as me. And we're all paid the same because we're working in a salary position. Salary jobs pay you just enough to where you're comfortable, right? You just have enough to get that decent house, the decent car, you get that Toyota Camry, maybe the decent wife, maybe the decent partner, and you're just satisfied enough. And this brings me to one of my favorite analogies of all time. There's no better way to explain this, guys. They did a science experiment on two frogs, okay? They took two pots of boiling water, and with one frog, they threw the frog into a pot of actual boiling water. That frog jumped out immediately. But the frog that they put into cold Cold water and they heated it up slowly until the water was boiling, the frog sat in that water and boiled to death. And the reason is, and the scientists found this out, is because when you're immediately thrown into something that's uncomfortable, your brain tells you this is bad, danger, I got to get out. But when you're comfortable and you have just enough and it's a little painful, but it's not too painful to where you jump out of that pot of water, the temperature slowly rises. You get depressed, you get fat, you go home, you start drinking, right? You hate your job. You're under fluorescent light all day. And eventually you're in boiling pot of water, but it's too late to get out. And that is why I don't want you guys to work salary jobs. I want you to understand that commission is your best friend. Commission means you're paid for how good you are, not for your time. Now that you know why commission is exactly what you need to get into, if you want to grow fast and make a lot of money in a short amount of time, let's talk about how you fit into the actual high ticket sales process of these companies. Remember when I was making fun of agencies and I was saying you need hundreds of different skills and you're starting from scratch and you're, you're trying to do this uphill climb when all odds are stacked against you. Well, the companies you're working for they're already profitable. They're already making millions of dollars a year and they're already successful. And you only need to use your one skill to fill a role that they need to make a lot of money. So instead of trying to like reinvent the wheel, you're simply adding more fuel onto the fire for an already successful company. A personal brand on Instagram with 100,000, 200,000, a million followers is gonna get hundreds to thousands of messages a day. They're gonna get a ton of people clicking on the link in their bio. They're gonna get a ton of DMs. They're gonna get a ton of comments. And like I said, the business owner or the personal brand owner, they don't have time Time to respond to all these. It's, it's simply too much for a human to do, except for what's called an appointment setter. All of this traffic and all these leads are going to be given to an appointment setter where they're going to do three things. They're going to qualify that lead. They're going to see if that lead has enough money to buy whatever offer that you are selling. And they're gonna make sure that it's a good fit for your offer. So if you sell a fitness offer, does this guy have a six pack already? He's probably not a good fit, right? And then they're simply gonna hand that off to the closer on the calendar. So whether that's going into a CRM and literally just clicking change status, or whether that is literally drag and drop on Google Calendar and just putting it on the sales team's calendar, that's your entire job as an appointment setter. From there, those booked calls are given to the sales team, they're closed, and you get paid just for setting that call. I know it sounds too good to be true, but that is literally your only job as an appointment setter. I've seen appointment setters make three to $10,000 a month. We even had one make $37,000 in a single month, but all you're doing is setting these calls because think of this, if I am a business and I'm selling a high ticket offer, can I make any money if I don't have sales calls? No, not at all because people aren't checking out with a credit card on my website. They're booking a call to learn more to eventually buy my program or my course or whatever I'm selling. So if the appointment setter isn't working for me, I'm losing out on millions, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So I'm very, very happy as a business owner to pay that appointment setter a commission on what they set and what they do. This is what we call you eat what you kill. And this is why I love sales. Now, keep in mind, this is not call center stuff. This is not life insurance. This is not going door to door and doing nonsense unless you want to go sell door to door solar. This is none of that stuff. This is literally sitting in the comfort of your home at your desk with your laptop and taking calls making calls or responding to messages and making very, very high commission for doing so. It's very high level business and we work with some of the best entrepreneurs online. I'm talking your Eman Gazi, your Grego Gallagher, Grant Cardone, Mai Lopez, V Shred, all of the Airbnb guys, there's like a million of them. All these people have sales reps on their team that went through us and we can say confidently that we've literally helped people get in with these companies. I know a sales rep that works on Eman's team and they love that he worked with us because he's very, very good at what he does now. And he had nothing but great things to say. This is the kind of presence that you want. This is the kind of people you want to be around. You don't want to go work for Jake from State Farm and sell insurance on the phone. No, you want to work with entrepreneurs that are at a high level that you can learn from and learn more working for them as a salesperson than you would in five years of college and business. Now that we've covered what high ticket sales is and why it is the best vehicle to reach $10,000 a month, I want to give you guys the three pillars that you're going to need 
to hit that goal. Those pillars are learning how to get your first client, learning the skill of sales, and then learning how to vet an offer and know if it's good or bad. So make sure you guys stick around to the end of this video to make sure you don't miss any of it. Pillar number one is sales itself. Guys, sales is a skill. It's not a business model. So I'm going to give you a very high level overview of what it looks like to be a high ticket closer or appointment setter working in the industry and in the vertical that we do. At a very fundamental level, all sales is, is helping people make decisions. You're either helping them make a decision because they have fear. You're helping them overcome some sort of uncertainty. You're giving them information because a lot of people don't buy because they lack information. For example, this watch. I know that I wanted insurance. I didn't know if I could get watch insurance because I don't want someone to just rip this off my arm. And I can. So I felt more comfortable in my buying decision because the seller of the watch reassured me, hey, like, yeah, this is how you do it. Give me papers. And now I'm comfortable as a buyer. So I made that decision. And that's all we're doing in sales. We're not doing the Wolf of Wall Street shit. We're not shoving stuff down people's throat. We're not knocking on people's doors, selling things that they don't want and being annoying. We are literally getting calls or going out and making calls and talking to people that more than likely already want what you're selling. And all you have to do is help them overcome the things that I just mentioned. When I get on a sales call, my entire goal is to identify why someone is on that call and why are they not really doing the thing they're on the call for themselves. And let me explain. Let's say I'm selling a fat loss offer, right? And someone gets on a call and they're overweight, clearly. I, I know that they're a good fit for my product. They, they could use our help. I need to figure out why is this person on this call in, in the first place? Like what's holding them back from doing this themselves? And I need to paint a picture of that gap to them so they realize that my solution is what they need. And that leads me to one of the most powerful frames in sales and it's something that we call the doctor frame. I want you to imagine you go to the doctor's office, okay? Let's say you broke your arm. You go to the doctor's office, the nurse does your, your check-in and everything, your vitals and, and weighs you whatnot. And then the doctor comes into the office. What is he gonna do? Like actually pause for a moment and think, what does the doctor do when he comes into the office? Well, he's gonna come in, he's gonna greet you, he's gonna say hello, and then he's going to start asking you questions. He's gonna say, hey, looks like your arm's broke. What'd you do? <laughs> um, oh, I fell out of a tree, okay. Does this hurt? Was it bleeding? Did it puncture the skin? Uh, does this hurt? Can you move your shoulder? He's gonna ask you all these questions so that he can gain information to assess your situation. And then only, and only then, he's gonna show you what you need to do to fix the problem. If I broke my arm, the best thing to do is probably to look at if I need surgery or get a cast. So let's say it's a cast. He only knows that because he asked you questions and maybe he did x-rays and he actually looked at the problem and diagnosed what's going on so he can then offer you a solution and you obviously are gonna take that solution because you are in pain. This is no different than a sales call. The fat guy, again, let's use the fat guy as an example. He's probably unconfident, he's unhealthy. He's probably not very happy with life because he's ashamed of how he looks. He's ashamed of how he feels. Um, he knows that maybe girls are not gonna find him attractive. These are all real, real pain that these people are gonna feel. It's the same as breaking your arm. So my job as a closer is to hop on and understand why he is in this situation. Why does he have the bad habits that he has that lead him to being so overweight? And then communicate this to him clearly via asking questions and digging into his problems where then I can say, hey man, is it cool if I show you how we can help? I think you're a good fit for what we do. Um, I just wanna get your permission first. That's important in sales because we wanna ask permission before we start selling because then it doesn't feel like sales. It feels like I am your trust trusted advisor who's going to help you fix your life. Then and only then when he gives us permission, which they're going to do 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm going to say, cool, man. So in this case, obviously, I think we need to do a couple of things, right? And then I'm going to tell him based on my diagnosis, what he needs, I'm going to prescribe him a solution. So if I sell a weight loss offer, I'm going to tell him two things. I'm going to say, hey, man, I think you're a great fit for what we do. And, and obviously, we've helped hundreds of people. So don't worry, you're not like a unique case. This is something we do for a living. We help people do this all the time. So two things. I think we need to establish a, a good diet plan for you. And I think we need to establish a good workout routine for you. That is me pitching my offer, okay? Pitching is not, hey, you need to buy this. You need to buy this now. Hey, it's on clearance, 50% off. That's not sales, guys. That's not how we sell. We are like ninjas, not like people running through a shop screaming, okay? So when I do that and I start to give my pitch, he's gonna love what I'm hearing because it's tailored exactly to fit his needs because we sell good offers that actually help people. And we'll teach you that in the next pillar. So when I'm doing this and make my pitch, I get to the price. 
And this is very, very important. This is where a lot of rookies mess up. They'll get to the price and they'll start getting nervous and they'll fidget and they just get uncomfortable because they've never bought anything in their life that was $10,000. So how are they gonna sell something that was $10,000? And you simply do it like this. I would simply say, hey, John, so again, I think this is what we need to do. I and guys, I'm, I'm saying this like for you because I'm not on a real call. I would explain the offer. I would give him my pitch, how it works. And then I would come up to the price and I would simply say, so John, for everything we just discussed, that's going to be $10,000. And I'm going to sit there in silence. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to rock back and forth in my chair. I'm not going to fidget and I'm not going to speak. I'm going to wait until he speaks. There's a couple reasons for this, okay? This is like the oldest rule in sales is you shut up after you make your offer. People get hit with a $10,000 offer and the wheels start turning in their brain. It's uncomfortable. They don't want to spend that much money and it is something that they're not used to. So they literally have to think and register. And guys, once you get into sales, you can literally see people's brains doing this in real time and it is the craziest thing ever. But they're going to sit there usually like this and their brain is just going to process. And then one of two things is going to happen. They're going to say, okay, let's do it. Awesome. You just closed a deal and you're gonna take payment and onboard them. Or they're gonna have an objection. And guys, I can't make a five hour long objection handling training in this video for you. Um, we have a lot of other ones on our YouTube and whatnot. But objection handling is as simple as I get a no, I understand, I confirm with him, hey, I, I totally understand, man, that, that, makes, that makes sense to me. And then I reframe it and I give it back to him. So let's say he says, I need to think about it. I totally understand, man, um, I, but I'm just, I'm just curious, like everything we spoke about, you would agree that this is what you need to do, correct? And then John is gonna say, yeah, I, I, I agree 100%, man, I just, I don't know, it's, it's a lot of money. Okay, so now we went from, and I need to think about it, to it's a lot of money. This is what we call a smoke screen. I need to think about it is not a real objection. A real objection is I don't have enough money. I don't want to spend this much money. I need to logistically go speak with my business partner, which doesn't really happen in, in B2C, which is that situation like weight loss. Um, so that's your third one. Or it's just pure fear. And I can tell on a weight loss offer, he's probably in this situation because he lacks willpower and he is very scared. He wants comfort. Okay. He doesn't want to go do hard things. So in that situation, I'd be very honest. I'd be like, John, can I, can I be uh, honest with you? Yeah, go ahead. John, like, why do you think you're in the position that you're in right now? Well, and he's just going to say bullshit. Okay. This is where you can reframe the objection and give it back to him. Remember, he said, I need to think about it. I don't know. It's a lot of money. I'm going to identify that as fear and I'm going to handle that fear. John, in my honest opinion, after helping like thousands of people in, in your situation, we've, we've gotten used to a couple of things. And the biggest thing, John, is a lot of people are just scared. They're scared to make a change. It's really comfortable for you to go and, and eat junk food. Is it not? Yeah, I, I guess it is comfortable. It's really comfortable to not work out. Go Going to the gym is hard, man. It's really hard, right? Yeah, it is hard. So John, you told me on this call that you want to change your life for the better. And now you have an opportunity to do that. Like you saw the results. You said yourself that our program is 100% what you need. So John, is it money keeping you from doing this or is it fear? And guys, that is a very brief example of how I would actually handle that objection. So at the end of that call, you make your offer, you shut up, you handle objections, and then ideally you close the deal. Guys, that at a high level is what high ticket sales is. Was that pushy? Was that salesy? Was that like snake oil salesman used car guy? No, because the kind of sales we do is honestly more like being a psychologist and more like being a trusted advisor than it is being a salesperson. Okay. So it's that easy. And I'm telling you guys, you get good at this, you're going to make a lot of money. Pillar number two is what to look for and the offer that you're going to be working for or selling. And guys, it's very important. The offer is the thing the company sells. So in our previous example, the offer would be weight loss training or personal training or diet or whatever the, that company sells. That's the offer, okay? And the offer is gonna make or break you as a salesperson. So here's a quick list of what to look for in an offer so you guys can write this down. So your ideal client has a great brand online, okay? They have a great personal brand. They have a great reputation. They look good. They are clean cut, whatever. They have a great brand. Next, they generate a lot of leads and calls. Guys, if you get a lot of leads, you're gonna make a lot of money as a salesperson. You need a lot of at-bats in order to actually swing and hit the ball. So you need a lot of leads, you need good marketing, and you don't need the offer that doesn't get any calls each month. You want them to already have people working on the offer. They already have salespeople employed and you're kind of just joining the ship. That's the ideal situation. They sell an in-demand offer that people actually want. It's self-explanatory, but I'm not gonna go work for a kitchen wood pine model cabinet remodeling course. I'm not gonna go sell that. Not a lot of people want that. 
but I will go sell the Airbnb coaching offer or I will go sell the high ticket sales training, okay? Next is they get great results for the students or their customers. Guys, it's so easy to sell something when everyone else that is in that program and buys that offer gets results because then you can literally say that to people and you don't get to do much selling because the results are gonna speak for themselves. And then the offer is priced at about 2,000 to $3,000. I wouldn't go under that. And guys, these go up to millions of dollars. I know a guy who sold $2 million consultations for like mindset stuff last month. He just made $2 million in a month for selling two customers, okay? So I wouldn't go under two to $3,000. I would try to stay above that. That way you have enough margin for a good commission, right? The standard sales commission is gonna be about 10%. Appointment settings like three to five or a small base with that. Um, and if you sell like a five hundred dollar, thousand dollar offer, there's not a lot of margin there. So stick above two or three thousand dollars, guys. The offer you sell is very important, and I want to stress this. This is probably the most important part of the equation because I can take a decent salesperson and put them on a great offer; they'll make a lot of money. But I can take a great salesperson, put them on a really, really, really bad offer that nobody wants; they're not going to make any money. And it's nothing to do with the skill of the person; it's all to do with the offer and the marketing in front of that offer. Now, does that mean we need to be lazy? Not at all. We need to be very, very good and we need to be elite. Okay. We need to not be lazy closers. We need to go to pipeline generation. We need to go to follow ups. We need to do all of that. But it's very important to find a good offer. Think of it like this, right? You've probably heard the age old saying, Oh, I could sell ice to an Eskimo, man. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in sales. I don't want to sell ice to the Eskimo. I want to go sell hot chocolate. I want to sell a blanket. I want to sell firewood. I want to sell things that they need because then I'm not even selling. I'm literally presenting them with what they already know they want and they're buying from. Me. And it's the same transaction on my end, but it's much, much easier for me instead of trying to sell an Eskimo ice when they're surrounded by ice. And I know that's silly, but that is the same mentality that you need when you're looking for a good offer. Offers like weight loss, fitness coaching, business coaching, consulting, mindset stuff, Airbnb, crypto and trading, real estate, dating, and, and other offers are all very, very, very hot right now. And that's what I would sell personally. If I was getting back into sales as a 20 year old kid, 23 year old, I would 100% sell in one of those niches. So go look for those. And that's exactly what you want to find. Pillar number three is how to find clients. And guys, the beautiful thing about sales, you don't need 10 clients. You don't need a bunch of clients. You only need one good client to make six figures in sales. And this is exactly how to find them. This is undoubtedly the hardest part of the whole process, but you only need to be successful one time. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I got my first clients and I got even like blue check mark millionaires as first clients on Instagram. Number one is Facebook groups. Facebook groups are great for beginners, but word of warning, the offers are sometimes really low quality and they're not gonna be posted by the best business owners because guys, when something's free, it's really usually not high quality. And these are free and they get flooded with scams and beginners and people that quite frankly don't know what they're doing. However, these can be a very, very good place for you to start and build up your experience. Just be careful and make sure to use the information we just gave you on pillar two on what to look for in the offer so that you don't get into anything stupid. You don't get into like a pyramid scheme or MLM or, or any of those things. The other method is Instagram DMs. Guys, Instagram DMs changed my life and it got me some of my largest clients and I'm talking millionaires with blue check marks before you can buy it on Instagram, big verified thousands, thousands, thousands of followers, those big clients, that's who you're gonna make a lot of money with. So here's step-by-step step how to do it. First, make sure your profile is cleaned up. You look good, no drugs or dumb stuff on your page. Next, we find the accounts. We wanna find accounts that have 20,000 or more followers. They have a link in their bio and that link says apply, not buy. What I mean by this is if you see a link in a bio, right? I'm sure everyone's clicked on one before. It's either gonna take you to like a checkout page or it's gonna take you to something where you opt in and you apply. So like an email, phone number, a free training, a free workshop, a free guide. That means they're selling a high ticket offer. So if you see that, that means they're an ideal client for you. Once we find these pages and we confirm that they sell high ticket offers, we wanna simply send them a DM. A good DM follows this sort of structure. First is a compliment about a specific thing. So that could be, hey, I watched your podcast with X and I really loved X that you talked about, right? Next is, I like this line a lot, it's been following you for a while and I look up to you a lot, man, or something like that. Next, I know you guys have a sales team and you're killing it. Um, I would love to interview with you guys and see if you could bring on another closer or setter. Then you wanna talk about your experience, if you have it. So, hey, I've been doing this for the last three months. Um, I've closed XYZ, blah, blah, blah. If not, don't say anything because if you're a beginner, you 
don't need to worry about it. And believe it or not, that is it, guys. That is literally what I've sent as DMs. And I got these giant accounts first as my clients. And all it takes is one, because if you do good for one person, they'll refer you to their network and then your life has changed forever. So although it might be hard and although you might have to do hundreds or maybe a thousand DMs, compare that to work in construction or compare that to a life of a nine to five. And all you need is one little lucky break to completely change your life and get that dream client. So now that we've covered the three pillars that you need to make $10,000 a month this year in high ticket sales, I gotta be honest with you guys, this video is awesome. But for me to give you everything that you need to actually succeed, go get your first clients, be amazing at sales. I'm not talking about like amateur, I'm talking about be elite and do everything the right way. It's gonna take me hours and hours and hours. And guys, I simply cannot put this all into a video and throw it on YouTube, it just doesn't happen. But luckily for you, I run the fastest growing, most successful sales education company in the entire world, Closer Cartel. As you watch this free training, you saw a couple tactics, right? The DM script, the how to find people, where to find people, the high level stuff, the doctor frame. And every time I release one of these, that training then gets copied by hundreds to even thousands of people. And it starts to come into my inbox. It starts to come into my friends' messages. And soon it becomes what we call saturated and it doesn't work anymore, guys. And this is the problem with free free training and free information is like I said in the Facebook groups, if something's free, it's probably not quality. And once I put this free training out, it's going to be copied and it's going to be sent by thousands of people. And then its effectiveness is not going to really be what it was when I first dropped the video. So if you want actual help, you want actual training and you want the actual good stuff that I can't put on YouTube and I can't really upload in a single video on how I went from welfare, true story, not like sob story, to making $30,000 a month as a 20 year old kid via high ticket sales. I want to show you how I've helped over 3,000 people make anywhere from three to $5,000 a month to 10 to even $65,000 in a single month like my boy Josh here. So let's take a look at just some of the results that we've gotten for our students. Josh Garcia made $65,000 in his third month ever in sales. Cade made $37,000 in a single month as a full-time college student while appointment setting. That's right, appointment setting. He wasn't even closing. Serena made $15,000 her first month ever in sales with Greg O'Gallagher, who is a massive, massive personal brand. And she's a double major in college, never had experience in sales before this. Justin is a veteran, he's an awesome guy. And he used to get like a $2,000 pension or whatever from the military. And that was like not enough to raise his kids. Like that's not enough to do anything in today's world. And he now makes $10,000 a month. He's a massive part of my team. And I'm literally gonna pay this guy hundreds of thousands of dollars over the next couple of years, all because of sales. Nehemiah makes $10,000 a month. And he literally started as a complete beginner, didn't know anything about sales, and is now one of the best closers that I know. Alex sold his e-com brand, was bored, decided to become a closer, made $20,000 in a single month. RJ made $30,000 in his first 60 days in sales. And guys, there are literally hundreds of other case studies. We have them on our other website, but I cannot throw them all in this video or it's gonna to take too long. Long story short, I acquired my second company ever a few weeks ago called Closeify, tryclosify.com. This company is kind of like Upwork or Fiverr if you've ever been on there, but for only sales reps. So it's a sales hiring platform that has already staffed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sales reps with some of the top companies. I'm talking your E-Mans, your Grego Gallagher's, your V-Shreds, your high key media, like very, very, very big companies. One of the main reasons for me spending a lot of money on this company was to get my students sales opportunities. So instead of you going to send DMs and doing all this Facebook group nonsense, like everyone, it's flooded, it's saturated. It doesn't work like three years ago when I was doing this. I bought a company that is literally gonna bring sales opportunities to our students exclusively. Again, we've staffed people like Greg O'Gallagher, Luke Lentz, Sean Mike Kelly, and hundreds of other sales reps that have gone through Closer Cartel and then later got on to Closeify. And the best part for you, now that I am the CEO of Closeify as well as this other company, I have to do the right thing. I have to grow that company. There's people depending on me. I have to pay people. I have to grow this and eventually grow it to the point where I can sell the company. And in order to do that, I have a massive problem. I need more sales reps. I don't need more students to pay me cash. I need more talented sales reps that are gonna go through that platform that I can then place with really, really good companies. So not only are we helping the salespeople, but we're now helping companies staff really good sales reps. And because of that, I did something that nobody has ever done in the sales space. I took our appointment setting program, Sales Accelerator, which we sold for $1,500, and I took Closer Cartel, 
2.0, which was our high ticket sales program. We sold that for $6,000. I combined both programs and we now charge less than half of what we did before for both programs for one program altogether. We didn't take anything out. We didn't remove anything. We've only added more material, more training, more coaches, and more coaching calls because I understand I would rather not make this $7,500 or the $6,000. I would rather just maintain the cost of my company and of my team and of you guys in the program and get you guys really, really good training so that you can then go on to Closeify and we can help staff these sales teams. Because guys, there's a massive, massive problem in the sales industry right now. Companies need good salespeople more than ever, and there are not enough good salespeople to meet the needs of these companies. So instead of me trying to make a few extra bucks on the front end of this and charge you guys six grand to get into a program or $7,500 to get into a program, I'm going to charge you less than half of that just to maintain our costs. And I'm going to give you exclusive access to the first sales hiring platform in the world in our industry. So let's break down 3.0 and exactly what you guys are going to get when you book a call below. First things first, when you join Closer Cartel 3.0, you get immediate access to our lesson library. Guys, think of this kind of like your Netflix, but for sales calls and sales training. So you can go watch it whenever you want. It's on this beautiful online platform that we had built out and you literally log in, it tracks your progress, there's documents and there's guides and there's diagrams and stuff attached to help you. You can print them out, you can hang them on your wall. And this is with you all the time. Guys, there's nearly 50 hours of recorded content in there right now. And that alone, we could sell for $10,000, but that is only the first part you get when you join. The second thing that you're gonna get access to is our live coaching. And to be quite honest, this is like the coolest part of this whole program. So imagine you go to college, but it's actually good and it's to learn sales, okay? That's what we've built. So you get five coaching calls a week, plus a call with yours truly every Wednesday to learn appointment setting, high ticket sales, psychology, human nature, like basic human nature is super, super big in sales, objection handling, tonality, whatever the topic is for that week, there's literally five calls at different times. So if you're in a different time zone, you can attend. Those calls are recorded. They're put in the lesson library. So if you miss a call, you can go back and watch it. And this is literally you. And right now it's about 30 to 40 people on each given call because the times are different. In a small like classroom style setting on Zoom with a coach that I have hired, I've trained, they've made a lot of money and they know their stuff. They're absolutely expert at what they do. They're gonna literally train you like a college professor, but in sales. Next is our community. We have the greatest community in sales, and I am so happy to be at the helm of such an awesome community and, and group of people. Guys, it's active. It is not one of these communities you join and it's dead, there's no messaging. There's literally so many messages a day that I can't keep up at this point, and people are sharing their wins. We'll throw some of the wins up here on the screen for you guys in just like the past week or two. People are helping each other be accountable. They're sharing like their workouts for the day and, and what they wrote in their journal and their goals for the week and how much sales they're gonna practice and whatnot. And then we can drop the live calls in that community as well. And guys, it's awesome. And the best part is we actually drop opportunities in this community as well. So I have someone on my team that I pay thousands of dollars to a month and their only job is to go out, get opportunities and drop them in the Discord for you guys. So you don't have to go DM people and you can literally just click opportunity, click apply and get in because this was before Closeify. But now that we have Closeify, it's gonna take everything. And that leads me to my next point. You also get exclusive access and first dibs on Closeify. Guys, this is not like a little deal. This is like a very, very big deal. It's going to revolutionize the way that the sales industry hires sales reps. And you, if you are good, will no longer have to go get clients. They will instead come to you. You make a profile, you're going to get exclusive access. You put in your information, your background, your experience, and the interviews are going to flood in. And guys, Closeify cost me a lot of money. It caused me a lot of headache. I put a lot of work into it but we are nearly ready to launch as of recording this video right now. And I can tell you right now, it is gonna change the game. A lot of people are gonna to try to copy it, but remember who did it first. All of this combined used to sell for close to $10,000. And I wanna to repeat to you guys, I combined everything, not to be cheap, not to do any nonsense. I literally put more stuff into the program than we had before we combined it. I cut the price by more than half because I want to help you guys get into sales. It completely changed my life. And this isn't me like doing a sob story to sell a program. Guys, it changed my life. I took my mom from a moldy, nasty house in poor Ohio to a beautiful, beautiful house in a safe neighborhood in Miami at 22 years old. I retired her. She doesn't work. I just sent my brother a couple thousand dollars yesterday because he needed it. I can provide for my family. And I'm even at the point now where I can do dumb shit like buy a watch, okay? 
And this is not what is important in life. What is important is taking care of your people. And if you can't literally produce cash on demand with a skill that is literally in your head, it's speaking. It's the way I'm speaking to you right now. If you guys watch this video and you think I have great inflection or I speak well, where I command attention, it's because of sales, guys. So I don't wanna do this and make this video and make this offer to you to try to make an extra buck. I wanna do this to help you get into sales and so that we can help change the sales industry and we can get more good sales reps in with companies that need them because there's a real need right now and there's a real struggle and I wanna be the one that fixes that. Three years ago, I started Closer Cartel with the mission of not only giving the best sales training and changing people's lives, but I wanted to be the number one sales education company in the world. And I thought we did a really, really good job of that. But this recent acquisition of Closeify completely cemented our place at the top of that mountain. So if you want to possibly join this program and maybe you just have some questions or you wanna get some more information, guys, I wanna invite you to book a call below, whether this is on a website or on YouTube, there'll be a link below somewhere under this video. And all you gotta do is click that link and book a call. And remember, I showed you the kind of sales we do. We're not gonna pressure you. This is not gonna be some high pressure, like salesy nonsense. We're literally gonna ask you questions, see if you're a good fit for what we do, see if we're a good fit for you, and see if we can help you guys. Because I'm telling you right now, sales is the only thing I can think of in the world that I would give to my son if I was on my deathbed. If I could give him one skill, I would give him the skill of sales because it completely transformed my life. My brother is in sales. My best friends use sales. My Some of my students have become some of my best friends and my team members because of sales. And guys, it's not a business model. It's a skill. You'll have it forever. It's literally in your mind and nobody can take that from you. Guys, we've helped people leave nine to fives. We've helped people leave college. We've helped people literally change their lives, buy cars, buy houses, retire their mom, like crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. And it is the most fulfilling part of this business is doing that. So guys, I would love to have you inside the community. If that's something that you think would help you reach your goals in sales and, and life in general. And if not, no worries at all. You guys can take this video, run with it. God bless you all. I really, really, really wish the best and I'm rooting for you.